here we are at uh, the AT&T Classic in Atlanta, just outside Atlanta, May 12, 2008, with Jeff Hull, Georgia PGA Player of the Year, and having earned his birth in this tournament via that title. And sorry for the wind, which can't help that. We had some really strong winds blow through here in the last couple of days, as have, have the rest of the country. But we'll try to get what we can. Jeff's with his caddy, good friend, and pro-pro co-champion in two events this last year in Georgia, Chris Asbel. With Chris on the bag, and Jeff's been playing well. Uh, I think we have a wonderful tournament week. Working on the putting. Still important. <laughs> Jeff's playing with a different putter than he has in the past. At least in his past year, he's used the heavy putter and now using the spider. Looks pretty good there, Jeff. What you working on? Trying to get taller. Mm. I get bent over uh -oh. and it gets inside. So just trying to get eye position and, and everything set better. I get a little out. Uh -huh. I get a little out, and my eyes get outside the ball. Yeah. And then I lose where I'm at. Gets, to... Yeah, he gets too close to the ball, gets bent over too much. So just try and get him to stand up. High position's a little better. Mm. And then from here, just once I've got it, it just rolling. Well, there's a lot more where that one came from, but it sure is fun to watch him go in. Gobble, gobble. The best sound in golf. Now, Jeff, how long have you how long have you worked with that particular putter? Two weeks. <laughs> Two weeks. Yeah. And is there a reason for this change here uh, prior to this most momentous occasion? Well, I mean, I changed in advance. I mean, I, space, I picked up my heavy putter at the nationwide event last year. Mm -hmm. That and was a worked, good one. It worked pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, no, I just I wanted to get a little bit lighter. Pick this up, and it's very stable. I, mean, I see. The MOI is really good, and it feels good. Um, and I just went in the whole thing in uh, here. And, ah. and I got to change the lie angle, and I put some different weights in it. Oh, cool. I've got all the different weights now, so I can change the weight. Um, so, no particular reason other than I just, it felt good. There you go. And it's stable, so. On really fast greens, we like a much heavier putter mm -hmm. versus. You know, there are different schools of thought as to weight on different speeds, mm -hmm. but uh, we found that for Jeff, on the really fast greens, which these are probably going to be rolling, I would think, upwards of 12, 12 right. and a half maybe. Oh, yeah, with but, undulations. <laughs> correct, correct. But with the, uh, his speed works best with a, a heavier putter. Mm. I mean, so I think he went, I think his putter originally had four, two four weights in the back. Yeah, that's okay. Now it's got two fifteens. All right, so this isn't like your heavy putter, though, by any stretch. Total no, because the weight, the weight the heavy putter is Very similar, but it has a better feel. It's I not see. as hard as the heavy putter. Beautifully done. Does it have any of those grooves that uh, get the ball turning over? Yeah. Okay, so we got that going as well. Let me come in on that. I don't know if that's that means anything or not, but well, they say it does, you yeah. know, but then they say a lot of things. <laughs> and Ben Crenshaw never putted with grooves. Yeah. Well, you know, what did he know? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, 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 that change of direction feels fast when I do that. It's fast. When it doesn't, that just felt fast when it changed the direction. Uh -huh. So he's, I don't know if we picked up with the wind. He said it felt faster at the transition. And that transition is intense. I love it. <laughs> right. This is a good thing. When's this wind supposed to blow through? This afternoon? Back up here. What's that? Is the wind supposed to blow through this afternoon? This Hopefully. front? Man. I think they were saying about four or five o'clock. This front should move on past. Well, it sure beat them up yesterday at the Players Championship. Got a couple of fellas here. Ryan Gay had a great finish last week. With a tie for 32nd and about $48,000. And Greg Kraft finished tied for 10th and 218000 But then who's counting? But they earned their money that week. Nope.
that feels better than Chris. Uh -huh. Being up. Right. And I think most of it's the lie angle. Got so he says this feels better. So you've already adjusted the lie angle then? Yeah. Get up a little taller. Right, taller. There? Yeah. So the putting game. <laughs> An enigma. Tommy Armour said there's only two rules. Keep your head dead still. Get the cutter blade going through toward the hole. Everything else is off. The way you hold it, stand on your ear. Too many different kinds of strokes, but at the end of the day, that ball can only bounce off the face of the club in the direction the face is pointing. Yeah. And you want that face pointing dead down your line of flight through the ball. Hmm. So club face control is far and away the most important thing about putting, particularly you know in the shorter ones. Pretty uh, good. Club head can come across the the line of flight from the inside or from the outside. As long as that club face looking at the hole, that's which way the ball's going. Start turning over almost immediately so side spin really doesn't come into play. Of course the ball doesn't get airborne, so we're not looking at any curvature in the air. So basically get it started on the line you've selected and pray for a good read. Looks good, Jeff. Any any special thoughts about the way you're going to handle these particular greens out here this week? Cautiously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, all I'm doing right now is I'm trying to find a rhythm uh, for a, a baseline stroke. You know, so my normal stroke for say six feet, what is that producing? So my normal six foot stroke is producing about ten feet. So so these are rolling out four feet more than kind of what I'm used to. Now so. will they cut them down any for the tournament Thursday or are they going to play about the same speed? I don't know. Oh. I've never been here. <laughs> okay. You ask, ask Brian or Jay, they'll okay, know. Okay, <laughs> good. Well, we'll have a little time with Jay here in a few yeah. minutes. So we'll You'd certainly like them. to think that they'll uh, they'll stay the same speed, mm -hmm. you know, throughout the week. But with this much wind blowing, you know, they may be able to get a little bit faster than they are. But yeah. I think they're calling for rain later in the week. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 40% so, chance based yeah. on the forecast. I've which has probably a 10% chance of being right. <laughs> uh, especially for Georgia right now, so. Yeah. But now nah, we just, you know, that's that's what we'll do when we go out and play is just, you know, find the spots where you know, you know, that you gotta be real careful with, you know, from this position to that certain pin. And Boy, that 15th hole made a believer out of me yesterday. We put some video up on the site showing how Jeff putted to the back of the green just as, as oh, an yeah. example and how the ball actually rolled all the way back to him. 30, right. 30, right. 40 some odd feet. You know, and that, and that green, that green is 40 deep. That's right. You know, so you've got, uh, you know, 60 feet of that ball potentially rolling all the way back to you from the middle of the green. Unbelievable. Yeah. And, and if that for the front third is a, is a false front, if you don't carry that, you've got a 40-yard pitch shot. So in other words, you got about 30 feet you can land the ball <laughs> in on that particular green. Well, it, there you go. Come to Papa. Find the baseline. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> And that, that literally feels about, that's not too much harder than I would normally hit a six, eight foot putt. Right. Wow. You know, and that's, that's uh, downhill, down, you know, what's what downhill. We so we've got a, what, a 20 footer here? 20? 18 feet. 18 feet that feels like a eight, eight so, feet. So here, for example, here would be a baseline six foot putt normally. In fact, if I'm playing just normal condition, six foot putt would be. It goes 16 feet. So. Boom. And it's uphill. All right, signing off from the putting green. Lots of fish to fry yet on the practice tube.